So keeping with the theme of last week's tutorial, where I showed you guys how to handle and import uh, Sega Model 3 games into LaunchBox, we're going to be expanding a little bit more, like I said, and start working on the other arcade systems. Like I said last week, I heard you guys, you need some help here, so let's get to it. Today on Unbroken Software Studio Tutorials, I'll show you how to get the Final Burn Alpha set of games up and running in LaunchBox. So FBA does emulate the following platforms, CPS 1, 2, 3, Cave, Data East based games, Galaxian based hardware, the IREM M62, 63, 72, 90, 92, and 107 hardware, the Kaneko 16, Konami based games, Neo Geo based games, NMK16, Pac-Man based hardware, PGM, Psycho 68, EC020, and SH2 based hardware, Sega System 1, System 16, System 18, Xboard, Yboard, Super Kaneko Nova Systems, Topolin 1 and 2, Taito F2, XZ, and others, and some other miscellaneous drivers for lots of other hardware. So it does read down here, work in progress for uh, Genesis ColecoVision, SG-1000, and, and stuff like that. Uh, if you would like to have uh, Final Burn Alpha emulate those systems, uh, you're more than welcome to. Just essentially take my other tutorials and swap out uh, whatever emulator I used there for this emulator, if that's something that you want to use. However, we are just going to be focusing on the arcade systems. And instead of focusing on just, for example, the Capcom CPS2 CPS2, PS3 systems, we're actually going to be focusing on all of it in today's tutorial, which is a lot of systems. However, there is a Final Burn Alpha specific ROM pack. So these are the ROMs that I have. It is 10.2 gigabytes. So that is quite a bit of games. So it, it is utilizing games or it does have games from pretty much most everything that it covers. This was just a pack that I found online. It was labeled uh, this, for example, Final Burn 029739, which also matches, at least at the time of recording, the most recent FBA64 version of the software. Speaking of the software, go to fbalpha.com, click the downloads button, Download the binary that you would like to utilize. Uh, if you are on Windows XP, you're probably not following this tutorial uh, because LaunchBox doesn't support Windows XP anymore. However, you can download the Windows 32-bit and 64-bit binary. Uh, if you don't know what version of Windows you have, use Google to try and figure that out. Download whichever version you need for your uh, computer. For me, I downloaded the Windows 64-bit version, downloaded the zip, unzipped it to uh, this folder here, and I put my ROMs folder into here, which then created this folder, and inside there are all the, the zips, which is pretty much uh, going to look at almost exactly like a regular MAME set. You can download specific uh, packs separately if you can find them, if uh, they're available for you, but they may not be the most up-to-date. The most up-to-date version that I found is the combined pack where it combines all of the different systems and arcade boards into one, uh, but if you only are worried about emulating a specific system, then uh, the tutorial still applies. You just might want to change a couple of things during the import process. So with that out of the way, let's head on over into LaunchBox. Let's go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. We're going to click Next, Add Files. We're going to navigate to where our FBA ROMs are downloaded. We're going to click on a zip, press Ctrl A to highlight them all. We're going to click Open. It's going to process this entire long list of games. We're going to click Next. Platform for imported ROMs. Now there is an FBA system in LaunchBox. There is a default FBA platform. However, there is no metadata or artwork on the database for this system. Now, that's not a problem because we have Scrape As. However, if you import as Final Burn Alpha, you are going to have to uh, scrape for metadata and media afterwards and I'll show you how to do that. Otherwise, I would most likely suggest uh, that you call the, 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 the platform FBA so that the scrape as 
uh, box here shows up and then you can select arcade from the drop down. If you name it Final Burn Alpha, because it's a default name, scrape as doesn't show up. So if you don't necessarily care for the name, you just want to call it FBA or you can or you want to rename it later to Final Burn Alpha, go ahead and do this now. Otherwise, Final Burn Alpha, FBA, which it, whatever you want to do, click next. Just make sure you scrape it as arcade. Um, and then where it says choose emulator, go ahead and click add. You're going to type in Final Burn Alpha. You're going to hit browse. You're going to browse to where you downloaded FBA and you're going to double click on the FBA64.exe or FBA.exe if you downloaded the 32-bit version. From the associated platforms list, double click an empty space, type in Final Burn Alpha or FBA. It depends on what you named your platform. So whatever you named your platform, go ahead and type that in here. Go ahead and check the default emulator box. Click OK. Click Next. Use the files in their current location. And then we are going to download all of the metadata and media from the Launchbox Games database and from Emu Movies except for if you used the final burn alpha name if you used fba and scraped it as arcade go ahead and click next check all of these boxes next it's going to log you into emu movies keep all these boxes checked click next and then we're going to check the box force using mame metadata if you did use the platform name final burn alpha you can uncheck all of those boxes uh, because you're not going to be downloading any metadata currently. Once this force using MAME metadata box is checked, go ahead and click next. It's going to bring you to the MAME import wizard. We're going to skip clones and prioritize the North American region. Now that doesn't mean it won't use other regions. Uh, it will give us other regions if there is no North American region. So it is the most compatible for you know showing you as many games as possible but it will show you uh north american or english releases of games as much as possible uh then we're gonna go ahead and uncheck all of these boxes here because i want to be able to import as many games as possible and then we're gonna go ahead and click next once that's done uh parsing your list you can either click on a game and press delete on your keyboard to not import it right now or double click on a uh, name and edit the name if you would like to do that so once you've got all of that done the way that you would like go ahead and click finish now if you did name it final burn alpha like i did go to tools manage platforms you're going to find final burn alpha from the list and you're going to double click on it and then where it says scrape as it should actually be blank now again if you named it fba and scraped as during the import process you don't need to do this unless you want to rename fba to final burn alpha however if you named it final burn alpha from the drop down menu go ahead and select arcade once you've done that press ok i'm going to close this you're going to want to click on a game Control a to highlight them all we're going to go to tools download metadata and images and this is going to bring up the wizard that looks very similar to as if you were importing them you're going to run through the entire list once you get to here yes but do not replace any existing fields or yes download and replace all existing metadata since you didn't download any media or metadata i would just go ahead and click the top uh, option which also works if you want to update a system say uh, you know that there are a couple, there are a bunch of games who's had their images replaced for better ones recently you would want to check yes download and replace all existing metadata it's the longest and most time consuming option but then of course you're sure that you've got the most up-to-date information and media uh, but if you just want to update games that are missing media, just go ahead and select yes, but do not replace any existing fields. That way, if it does have media, uh, take, take a certain, take any game, for example, say it doesn't have back box art, but it has front box art. Uh, you would say yes, but do not replace any existing fields. Once it gets to that game, it won't download the front box art, but it will download the back box art because it's missing. So you can use the second option to update games that have missing metadata. It's up to you which one you want to choose. Uh, but uh, in this case, if you did import as Final Burn Alpha and didn't download any of the media during the import process, either option should work for you.
Once that is downloaded, you should have a relatively good looking system like this. If for whatever reason it doesn't uh, show you any of the images, highlight them all again, go to tools and refresh selected images, or just press F5 on your keyboard. It will go ahead and refresh the cache for just this system and it will try to uh, show you the images if they don't show up for whatever reason. Oh, sorry. So no, we're not quite ready. There are two things that I forgot to, to tell you guys to do, and that is to check the box don't use quotes and check the box for use file name only without file extension or folder path. So uh, yeah, I kind of forgot to, to tell you guys about that. So sorry um, if you were already trying to ready to go and you got an error. There will th it will throw you an error if you try to launch a game through LaunchBox without these two boxes checked. So, so, sorry, please make sure that you check those two boxes. Then, once that is checked, we should be good to go. However, I do get a quick error that pops up here. You'll see here, uh, I don't know what it, uh, necessarily it means, but I just go ahead and click OK, and it plays just like normal. So if anyone in the comments can actually tell me what that error is for, I didn't edit any of the FB Alpha settings. It's all set to default. So yeah. Uh, there we go, guys, though. It is working uh, FB Alpha and that set of games. So it is, uh, you know, still relatively the same process from MAME and the Supermodel emulator, but uh, done a little bit differently because of the two checkboxes needed for the emulator. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped you out at all, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials in the future. My name is Brad, the link to my channel is in the description below, and as well, we did start our Patreon campaign over at Patreon.com. Uh, two bucks a month will help us bring more content to you, and you get some exclusive Patreon-only perks. So if that sounds like something you would like to do, there are a couple of different pledge tiers over there, and we would greatly appreciate anyone going over there and checking it out. Remember, Freezing Geeks, to play more games, and we will see you next time. Have a good day!